The Northeast Conference hosted its inaugural Mental Health and Medical Issues Summit on Thursday, December 1st in Piscataway, New Jersey. The summit featured more than 70 attendees, including school administrators, athletic trainers, and team physicians. This is one of the first mental health summits among college athletic conferences in America. And so you guys are ahead of the curve, raising awareness, bringing intervention, doing the right things to destigmatize mental health within athletics. When I connect with an athlete or a coach or even anybody working in athletics and ask them the simple question, how are you really doing? Really doing. When you ask somebody the question, how are you really doing? That's an invitation for the athlete in particular to take off the armor. I thought today was extremely beneficial. Um, I'm one of two coaches in the room today. I know there were um, representatives from all different areas in their departments, but just the panel was exceptional. They all were extremely informative and educational in all different areas of mental issues and disorders. And just moving forward, I think it stimulated a lot of thought about what we want to do, not only at our university, but at the different NEC teams and schools. The uh, Northeast Conference today on mental health has been outstanding. It points out the importance of taking care of the entire athlete, truly the art and science of sports medicine. And really what we wanted to delve into today is dealing with the mental portion of the athlete's endeavor and going through their sporting activity. Dealing with injury, dealing with depression, how to reach out, how to identify those who really need the help. And I think that this is addressed this topic really well here and is such an important part of sports medicine. When we're going to suggest that somebody engage in a healthier eating lifestyle, we need to call it that. A healthier eating lifestyle, not a diet. Because then we become focused on weight loss or weight gain or sizes, and that's where the disordered uh, eating can come into play more. First and foremost, I think the need for, for mental health um, awareness and education on campus is, is growing. Uh, and to have these speakers tell us kind of just some ideas and frameworks on what we can use and, and how to implement it with, with our staff uh, and our athletes is huge. Um, come up with educational programs for the coaches and for student athletes uh, and then figure out what groups we can use on campus, whether it's our counseling center, uh, our police department if, if need be, um, you know, uh, psychiatrists in, in the community and things like that so we can better uh, serve our student athletes. We had everybody from mental health professionals on our campus to athletic directors, SWAs, student athletes and coaches alike. Um, the presentations were very remarkable. They were engaging um, and then at the end of the day we were able to sit around in our schools, environments at each table and uh, talk about the great takeaways that we would take back to the campuses. We're really grateful for the opportunity that the NEC conference office provided for the Mental Health Summit and to get all of the different um, constituents and stakeholders on campus involved in um, some great educational pieces from speakers, that uh, work in the field, um, some psychologists, some doctors who work with student athletes and their injuries, and um, just getting their take and sort of knowing where we can go and do a better job of working with student athletes and um, dealing with a lot of the different mental health issues that have um, come across on campus. Um, we definitely have gotten some, some great insight and some great planning and some great education to best serve them. The inaugural NEC Mental Health Summit was a huge success. Not only did it bring together our athletic community, uh, it also brought together the entire campus community of each of our 10 institutions. The fact that we had athletic directors, athletic trainers, teams of, team physicians, student health and student affairs, people all in the same room, hearing the same information was a huge benefit for our membership. From a campus perspective, our institutions have a better understanding of what they need to do to provide the best resources for their student athletes. And from a conference perspective, I think we have a very good idea of how best to move forward in providing more resources and more assistance for our institutions to help 
implement the policies and procedures uh, and practices that they learned about. So again, a hugely successful day. Thanks to uh, our panelists who were very esteemed and extremely well versed uh, in the issues facing our student athletes. And thanks to the people who were that attended from our campuses. Without their attendance and their interaction and their uh, commitment to taking away and implementing what they've learned on campus, uh, obviously would, this would not be a success. So uh, a huge thanks to our institutions and uh, again, looking forward to reporting back to you in the future about our initiatives.